Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, Brandon from Audio Addiction, bringing you yet another reaction video. You already knew it was coming. You already knew I was going to do it. Enox, their new song, Paradise. You already know. They're their boys. I love them. Shout outs to the guys. They're the best. Uh, please go check them out. They're awesome. But they have a new song called Paradise. It came out a couple days ago. And as I mentioned in my update video, it took a little time off, a little break. But, you know, your boy had to catch up on some homies. A lot of homies drop new music. So please go show them some love. But Enox, you know, I got a special love for those guys. They're my they're my booze. I love them so much. But please, let's give a listen to Paradise. If you happen to not check it out, this is going to be a perfect time to give it a listen. So let's, uh, let's rock. Let's, let's spare no expense. Let's get into it. Okay. Somebody asked for new metal. All right. Let's rock. Let's rock. All right. Right in the chest, baby. Little two-step packs in here. Let's go. Breakdown coming. I'm calling it. Great, great track. I don't know how they keep doing it, man. I love this. Guys, that was Enoch's Paradise. Go show him some love, but let's let's talk about this track because this is this is a spicy boy. I like this one. Um this was great. I think what I love about Enox is that they just love new metal. I, I there's just something about this band that just is like, hey, we love new metal and we're just gonna keep doing it and we hope you like it. We don't care if you do like it, but we're going to keep doing it. And I, I got to give them a lot of kudos for it because they really do deliver on that true, like, new metal, like, metalcore sort of sound. They just got a really nice hybrid blend of both. And I think that's kind of what, at least for me, kind of separates them from other, like, metalcore bands that I really love. But they also can be, like, super proggy in some parts, which I think is really good. I'd argue a lot of that comes from Mario because... He's an incredibly talented drummer. Um, he, when I saw them in Philly, uh, like about a month or two ago, he was like, oh, "I how how did I play, man? I don't know if I played that well." And this man crushes it. I don't I, like you know I, I and he watches this stuff and like genuinely I, anytime that I see 
Enox, I think I just get floored. You know, there's some there's something about their band that like sound wise, they just sound pretty damn close to what they sound like on the actual tracks. So I gotta give them a lot of credit for that too. And this may seem like a little bit of shilling, which it probably is a little bit, but like I, I genuinely think that they have that type of talent live. And I, I would argue with band, you know, a ton of bands that you see live and you'd see all this sort of stuff, like they really hold it down live. And I and I gotta give them a lot of kudos because some some of this stuff is like super technical. It can be very like really in your face and i think they do a very good job of mastering all of that in a live setting but also also being so dialed in in the like recorded stuff so i i think that that's great love michael's vocals on this i thought in the chorus that was probably where this part that he shined the most in um i love the kind of like i want to like obviously he's got the screaming but like the yelling like false chord maybe like fry scream sort of thing going on vocally where it's like layered on top of each other i really enjoyed that aspect of it um i think it really adds a little bit of like like dissonance it also adds like a little bit of like depth as well too so i really enjoyed that aspect of it i always love like the again the digitech whammy like dumb weedily sort of stuff that's just like again as i mentioned with the north road reaction video it, it scratches that itch you know I, I as a guitar player myself like those are the things that just is like i know i don't need it in the song but like if it's out of the song i feel like it's not it's not there you know there's something missing and that's like kind of the like true element of a good like metal chord track but also again pulling a lot from that sort of new metal because they do some really wacky stuff musically and i think that that is very well incorporated in this i would also say the song is a little bit more toned down um especially from some of the other stuff that they've released like i.e mortar shell was bonkers um inferno also bonkers like any of their like i feel like this one feels like it's a song that could be on like a little bit more of like a serious xm like an octane kind of like heavier version i don't know if they have a heavier version if not they should totally do it and you know if you want to pay me royalties that'd be sick um or curate it that'd be amazing uh but i think that there is this level of like heaviness but i think like even in that chorus i feel like you could definitely sing along to that as much as it probably would s seem like difficult on paper i think it definitely could be done in that way and i think i love that about the track but i also just love the slamming like breakdowns in this track they, they really did it john and mikey crushing it i love the low end from roy i think he has he really incorporates a lot of that sort of just like like hitting the chest feel like there's just something about it when like the bass kind of comes in or the bass kind of drops out you can kind of feel like the the ebb and flow of like the rhythm section kind of going in and out and I, I i really enjoy that aspect of what enox does because i think they that both um mario and roy i think they're dialed in together and being the rhythm section but i also think roy does very well with mengling with uh both mikey and john in terms of the guitar work i think there's just some really great like heavy moments that was shared between all four of like the instrumentation that i think i really enjoyed a lot and probably enjoyed more in this track than i have in terms of previous enox tracks not that I feel like they were written poorly. I just think that they definitely kind of hit a stride in this track early on and they kept on with that wave. So I think that that's great as well. Um, but yeah, this song's in your face. It does not ask any questions. It takes what it wants. And I, I think that's what I really enjoy about it. It was a great kind of send off piece because i believe these this is the last song for their ep paradise ep if you'd like to go check it out i'll leave links in the description go pick it up i think they have a really sick wall flag my wall is looking kind of lonely so maybe i'll pick up the wall flag and put it over in my on the other side next below era you know goats you know goats goats meets goats i don't know who knows maybe i'll do that sounds sick um if not go pick up some merch they also have that as well um but yeah enox i think they just are a band personally and just seeing it myself and seeing them grow over the years i genuinely feel like they have such an immense amount of talent and i would really love to either see them be on a label or just see a lot more success so that's why i do these i i genuinely love enox i have been watching them for years i've been seeing them grow 
and you know, I wish them nothing but the best because I feel like they deserve it as a group. So please go pick, give Paradise some love. If you have not checked out Paradise in this it, it, or Enox in general, and this is the first track that you listen to of them, please go back and listen to their discography. It's awesome. It's great. I can totally recommend it. And, you know, check out some of the other reaction videos. This one was a good one, but I feel like some of the other ones, you might have gotten a little... Enox may have gotten a little more out of me than just that. So please go check that out. Let me know what you think about Paradise down in the comment section below. We'd love to know your thoughts on this track, what you think about the EP, all that jazz. Let me know down below. If you enjoyed this reaction video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. It does go a long way. I am trying to hit 5K before the year's over with. Would love to get to 5K if that's possible. If not, I'll settle for anything. But 5K is really my stretch goal, so I'm really trying to hope to hit that. So thank you for watching. In. We'll love to see you in some future content and uh, hope to catch you in the next one. Peace.